Hey guys, this is Rocky and in this video I'm going to show you how to create multiple drives in Windows 8 without using any external softwares like Paragon or any other software. So what we can do here is, as you can see, I have a couple of drives on my uh, laptop. When I received my laptop initially, I had only one drive, that, that was the C drive, but I split it into another drive, the E drive, and I located some memory to it, about 300 GB of memory, without using any other softwares. And I did this purely in Microsoft Windows 8 uh, platform. So let's see how we can do that. Uh, in order to be able to partition this, uh, we would need to access the disk management console of uh, the operating system. You can try to get to that uh, disk management by going through the control panel and navigating through the menu options and all that stuff. But there are a couple of shortcuts available which you can use right from your desktop. And the first one is hitting the Windows button and the X button on your keyboard. So the Windows and X will bring up the disk management option right here and this is an easy way to access this shortcut prompt one other way would be to uh, take the mouse to the left bottom left corner of the screen so that we get to see the tile that takes us to the metro screen so keep an eye on the mouse cursor right now okay uh, I hope you guys can see the tile that has right now appeared on my screen so what we can do here is, instead of left clicking on the tile, we need to right click on it. And I'm going to right click on it right now. There you go. As you can see, I'm able to look at the disk management option over here. Left clicking on the tile will navigate you to the uh, metro screen. Let me show you how that works. There you go. Left clicking on it is going to take you to the metro screen. I don't want that. But what we would like to do is hover over the tile and right click on it and select the disk management option. Okay. And here are uh, the drives existing on my uh, laptop and here's my C drive and here's my E drive. Now I would like to split the C drive into another partition, uh, make another partition out of it and I want to allocate about 100 uh, gigabytes of memory to it. So how can we do this? Um, here it is. Just simply right click on the C drive and click on shrink volume wait for it to finish the process. Alright here is the amount of look at this option. Enter the amount of space to shrink in megabytes. So one megabyte is 1024 kilobytes and 1024 megabytes is one gigabyte so if we want to assign about 100 gigabytes it would be 124 oops All right, here you go. Um, I'm gonna allocate about 10.24.00 megabytes so that it equals 100 gigabytes. Now, this is going to create 100 gigabytes of um, a new drive with 100 gigabytes of free space. So, in order to do this, enter the amount and click on the shrink button. Keep an eye on this. This has 6.23 gigabytes and this has 300 and here we go I guess I have allocated a little bit more memory but you can do the math um, okay here is the 117 gigabytes of unallocated memory so which means our drive is not yet created as you can see we still have two drives we still need some work to be done on this and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have to right click on this and create click on new simple volume 
here's the wizard that says click on next and it's gonna take up all the memory uh, if you want to assign different memory which I don't recommend uh, you can do that but I'm gonna leave it at that and I'm gonna click on next and here you can see the list of uh, drive editor options available uh, you can select whatever uh, option you want or whatever letter you want to assign to the drive I would recommend you leave this at the default option uh, so that it goes in alphabetical order and that's about it and once you're done with that just simply click on the next and choose whether you want to format this volume and if so what settings you better leave this at the default settings and if this is unchecked if, if you see it like this make sure that this um, option the checkbox is checked it, it's a good idea to format your drive um, whenever you create a new partition and if you check this option the drive is going to be formatted automatically for you Windows 8 will do this automatically for you so it's a good option to leave this at its default value and make sure that it's checked and simply click on the next button and look through the confirmations alright finish look at that there you go you have the confirmation and here we have it so we have a C drive we have an E drive and we have the new F drive with 117 gigabytes of free space now let's verify if this new volume has been really created for us there you go as you can see we have a new volume and I'm able to navigate in it in and out let me see if the, it lets me create a new file and I'm going to create a test oops there you go file save exit alright there you go so this is how you can create a new drive or a partition out of your existing uh, drive and allocated memory um, and, with, and the, the brilliancy of this method is that you don't have to do it uh, using any external software, you don't have to format your hard drive, you don't have to log out, log in, restart, uh, and you know, it makes it so much easier to maintain your drives and uh, you can keep partitioning it as many times as you want, but I won't suggest going more than three or four partitions because each time you create a partition, uh, for paging purposes and for indexing purposes some of the memory will be taken up by the operating system so just try to maintain a balance between uh, the drive the number of drives that you want and the hard drive space that you can allot to it uh, to maintain an efficient balance um, overall so I hope you guys were able to follow this video and if you have any questions uh, please feel free to state them in your comments and in my next video, I'm going to show you how to unlocate or destroy the new partition and recover back the memory. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to take off, how to delete the F partition and give back the 117 gigabytes of memory back to C drive. So, and that's going to be the part of the next video. So thanks for watching.